Now here's an old observation, an interesting one. Yeah, it's just an interesting observation I thought I'd share again. So let's, let's have a look. These vibrations in my cup of tea, my very nice cup of tea. See it? You see that vibrating, my drink? What's causing that? We got a digger about 120 meters away, breaking out some ground for the landscape company. You can see how those vibrations are going into the ground, traveling about 120 meters across the ground, hitting the base of the crane, and then traveling 140 feet up the tower to wobble and vibrate my cup of tea. Yeah, an interesting observation. Now, I can have someone on the jackhammer down the end of the street, my, yeah, eight, hundreds of meters away, breaking out, and I will feel those vibrations, like in my tea, for example. But strangely enough, I do not feel anything as far as being on a wobbling, oscillating cannonball, going in ridiculous speeds, in different directions and of course the block shows that as well i can have hundreds of feet of rope and the block can be dead still when there's no wind and i find it this 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 observation again interesting with regards to the vibration i'm not claiming heliocentric gravity affects vibrations but it's interesting that the vibration hits the ground even though it's as we can see the digger in the background it's being applied applied in a straight, near enough a straight line down. We're told gra heliocentric gravity pulls things to the center of the ball, but this energy, this vibration is traveling across the ground, hitting the tower at base ground level, which is the firmest where it's actually cast in concrete, and traveling in the opposite direction of heliocentric gravity, going all the way up the tower, vibrating my T, and going out the back and front jib and dissipating. I just find that a very interesting observation indeed. I know heliocentric gravity is nonsense anyway. The wind tells me that. The globe believers will cite gravity as the reason cranes can be dead still on a spinning ball, but a gentle breeze can overcome that. And of course, as we've seen for the last six years, globe side has no practicality whatsoever especially when it comes to cranes their nuts are spinning right now because they've got nothing but bottles of water and I have, and ping pong balls ridiculous but I thought this was an interesting old observation to share um, yeah make of it what you will 